Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for June 16th, 2023. This is going to be, I think, by far and away the biggest new arrival video of the year because I've got two rows and a pile of stuff to show you. Got a huge analog productions restock, so I'll go over, with, uh, go over that with you as well. But also the amount of actual new arrivals for this week is pretty huge. Let me start with two pre-orders that I put on the website. Taylor Swift. Speak Now, this is Taylor's version, one of her re-records. She's gone back and re-recorded all of her albums, and this is the next one in the series. That comes out July 7th. And then I've got Depeche Mode, Sounds of the Universe. This is the next box set that's coming out. They've been doing all these 12-inch single box sets. Seven disc set, they're numbered. Uh, well, they've all been numbered so far. I'm assuming this one's numbered as well. Comes out August 4th. Uh, also, I've got a Whatnot this Saturday at 11 o'clock, excuse me, Sunday, this Sunday, I've got a whatnot at 11 a.m. So that'll be pretty good. It's going to be jazz, so another jazz uh, whatnot. So primarily all jazz, audiophile stuff, uh, vintage originals, uh, everything from like Music Matters, Tom Poets, the old analog productions, 45s. Most of them are out of print. You know, it's that kind of thing. If you click the link below, you can go directly to Whatnot and see everything that is going to be uh, auctioned off that day. They all start at 10 bucks, and everything sells for the final bid. There's no reserve. All right, let's start with this week's new arrivals. Leroy Vinegar. Very difficult record to find, either in stereo or mono, but uh, Leroy Walks. This is a contemporary series title, all analog cut from the original master tapes by Bernie Grunman. Duke Ellington, Indigos. This is an Impex reissue. Kind of, because this actually isn't really a reissue, because it came out, what, eight, nine years ago? It came out quite a while ago. All analog, cut from the master tape by Kevin Gray. This particular repress is cut by Ryan Smith. The master tape, or the actual part that they were using to manufacture this record, got damaged. They couldn't do it anymore when they went to go repress it. They had to have Ryan recut the, the metalwork. So this is theoretically a new version of Duke Ellington's Indigos because the original cut by Kevin Gray, this is uh, a Ryan Smith. I'm actually curious to hear the difference between the two. Uh, according to them, they say this one sounds better. I haven't heard it. Of course, they would probably say that anyways. Uh, but yeah, Ellington Indigos, fantastic record, 33 RPM. Newly recut. Okay. I gotta make some space here, man. I'm, we're brimming. Alkaline Trio. This is a 10 inch of Good Morning. A double disc 10 inch. Make some space. Traffic. The Low Spark of High Heel Boys. This is a Friday Music Clear Blue repressing with the actual die cut cover. Yeah, you know, I was curious about why I was ordering this one, but it's reasonably priced enough. And if you want a fresh new copy of uh, Judy Collins Wildflowers, this is the mono pressing. How did this come out? I guess the mono might be a little rare. It came out in 67. But yeah. We've got Sunvolt, the songs of Doug Song. Days of the Doug. Sunvolt pays tribute to Doug Som. We've got, I listened to part of this. This is a little weird. I wouldn't even know how to describe this. Uh, Pelican Man, Planet Chernobyl. This is on ORG, pressed on blue marble vinyl. Some songs written by Mike Watt on there, but it was an interesting, uh, it looks so weird I had to, I had to listen to it. Let's see, Bonnie Dune, Let There Be Music, on Anti. Some imports, I get these because people coming in the store love them. They sell really well. They're not the cheapest records in the world, but most of the US pressings of these Disney movies are picture discs, so I import the actual albums. This is the Cars movie, not the Cars, but Toy Story favorite, so like a Toy Story comp. This is also an import. They're doing a uh, reissue of the John Mayall catalog on DECA, it seems. The Blues Alone. A 
Let's see. Cat Stevens, Yosef. Let's see, 12 brand new songs. Limited edition green vinyl, 36 page book. But yeah, new Cat Stevens record. This is on Dark Horse. Cool. This looks good. Love the Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys, this is all of the singles from 1985 to 2020. You know, West End Girls, Opportunities, Always On My Mind. This is a six album box set. So, you know, kind of like a greatest hits, right? A singles box set. Making space, making space. Okay. Queens of the Stone Age. New album. It is in Times New Roman. It comes out in many different colors. Uh, some of them, I, I, there's a red one here I'm not going to show you because it's sold out in pre-order. And actually, most of these are close to selling out. Uh, you know, I can't reorder them again. I think the black is the only one that's going to be able to be easily findable the next couple of uh, months. If they repress any of these, I'm not sure. Maybe they will. This is the translucent blue vinyl. Silver vinyl. Red, I'm not, like I said, sold out. Black vinyl with no hype sticker. And green vinyl. Sturgill Simpson's High Top Mountain. This is the 10th anniversary edition on transparent black vinyl. We've got The Residence. Heard my phone going off. I'm going to turn that off. Okay, The Residence. Not available. Double LP set includes X for extra. The original not available sessions. Janelle Monet, The Age of Pleasure, featuring Float. This is the Orange Crush vinyl version. Fred again. This is Secret Life, Fred again, Brian Eno. Hmm. New Brian Eno. Okay. Pat Metheny, Dream Box. 2023. New Pat Metheny record? Looks like this is a new record, maybe not a reissue. This looks good. I'm going to get this for myself. This is OMD Live. Yeah, this is a 2LP set. Nola Gay, Electricity, Locomotion. I wonder what year this was live. So this is, uh, you get the LP, so double disc LP. It's numbered on the back. They only made 4,000 of them. This is 1678, but it also includes a CD. This is on Ear Music. I've gotten a lot of their concert reissues lately that I've enjoyed. They did uh, Blondie, the Noet, uh, what was it? from the No Exit Tour, that Blondie Live. I think they do a lot of stuff that was maybe put out in DVD in the past and they're doing it on vinyl. Some of them, some of the earlier records actually included a DVD. Drive-By Truckers, The Complete Dirty South. This is the director's cut. <laughs> kind of a little box set, but it's really just two albums like on a slip box. Four, two, L, two LP set. I'm guessing that might be a book. Rat, the Atlantic years, 1984 to 1991. <clears throat> First ever collection of Rat's gold and platinum Atlantic years on LP. All five albums on 180 gram black vinyl includes rare seven inch of the 1991. Nobody rides for free. It includes a, a book and a tour, guitar picks, backstage pass, includes tchotchkes. I gotta tell you, Man, these albums aren't that easy to find on vinyl. The 80s hair metal stuff, hard to find, hard to find clean and doesn't last long. So just like the Motley Crue box, you know, that'll that'll be successful. This is not a clue. Salu, Untitled God, black cover. We've got The Show. Nile Horgran includes hand 
written letterprint. So I showed the autographed CD I had last week and I got schooled. Like, how can you not know who this man is? He is in the biggest band of all time, One Direction. I think it was One Direction. I'm gonna go with One Direction. Like, I didn't know, I'm sorry. But in my defense, I don't listen to One Direction. I mean, I might've been forced to listen to it a little bit back in the day in the radio era when people listen to the radio. The Ohio Players, pleasure, on Westbound. There we go. These, I think we're gonna have issue getting restocks of them. I didn't show you this one last week because it was allocated. I'm like, allocated? And I didn't have enough to cover pre-orders. I do now. But Alice Cooper, this is the 50th anniversary edition. Uh, this is a 3LP set, but you get an unreleased live 1972 show and extras. So I think obviously that's what everybody's after. It actually includes a replica pair of the original panties. Original packaging, you know, it's got the desk cover. And they also did Killers, excuse me, Killer, uh, which also includes a 1972 unreleased show and uh, unreleased tracks. Original packaging as well. Recreation of the calendar, yep. Yeah. Started ordering in these uh, Elemental Music Motown titles. I haven't personally listened to them, but they've done some of them on Record Store Day, and a lot of people have been telling me they sound killer, so I started bringing in the non-Record Store Day titles. This is Supreme's a go-go. Paul Simon, there goes the Ryman Simon. This is an RSD Essential on orange vinyl? Yeah, opaque orange vinyl. RSD Essential is essentially like a Record Store Day title. You gotta be an official Record Store Day store to get RSD Essential titles. Tame Impala, Lonerism, 2012 to 2022. This looks like a more, I don't know what this is. I think this originally came out in a box set. This might look like a less expensive version of that. I think. Some more of the uh, John Mayall imports, Crusade. Hard Roll Road, excuse me. There's one you don't see. Recorded live at Kook's Cleek. Let's see, Django, the new album. Double black of vinyl. Django Django, off planet. J. Cole, born sinner. Who is this band? The Rolling Stones flowers. I'm just kidding. They're doing a lot of the Apco reissues uh, on black vinyl. These originally came out 20 years ago on clear vinyl, but a lot of these are getting repressed again on black vinyl. They've been out of print for years. Gabriella Schonk, Across the Room. We've got Salou. Some more solo. Candy Station. I'm just a prisoner. Wow, this is super limited. Why did I get so few of these? This is a rough trade deal. Let's see, special limited edition candy apple. They only made 250 of these. They're numbered to 250, but they forgot to put the number here. So I guess if you have a Sharpie, you can just make whatever number you wanna. Don't know what the deal is with that. From Arizona, JFA. Last ride. Right, I'm not a big punk guy, but uh, yeah, they, uh, my first album on Placebo, EP, seven inch? Yeah, they did a seven inch, it was an EP. And then, uh, yeah, they're uh, still got the skateboard. Looking a little, uh, little, little more patina these days. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold, Life is But a Dream. This is the indie exclusive cobalt blue vinyl variant. Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. 
wonder what the deal is with this. Reissue, anniversary, no clue. Aha. Headlines and deadlines, the hits of aha. Government Mule. We've got the Indie Store record store exclusive of uh, Like a River. 2LP, 180 gram orange and red smoke vinyl. I was a little perplexed by this. Uh, doing a little Elton John reissues. You know, they've done the early 70s stuff. They've done the harder to find 90s and 0s stuff. So they went back and they're doing the 80s stuff. Jump up. You know, it's got blue eyes on it. Empty Garden, fantastic Elton song written about John Lennon. But uh, yeah, you got a remastered version of Jump Up. Actually, I dig these albums, but they're not known for being well regarded, you know, after the fact. Uh, Red Strikes Back, I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That was one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Elton John song when I was a kid. Still love it. Great song. 21 at 33. Yeah. We've got, uh, yeah, the Fox. You know, uh, Carla Attitudes, okay. This is, yeah. And I think there's more. Maybe back here somewhere. After Life, Yeet. Gracie Abrams. Yeah, but I guess you know with Elton, he's one of those artists that his whole catalog should be in print. Uh, this is a clear vinyl variant. Deer Trick, emotional, Deer Tick, emotional contracts. Red and black blob colored vinyl. We've got Ray Samurd. Mac DeMarco, five easy hot dogs. Here we go. Elton John, leather jackets. God, is this his worst record? Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Elton, who I absolutely love. I've seen him 17, 18, 19 times in concert. More than anybody else. I cannot even tell you the last time I listened to this record, and for good reason. But uh, yeah, look at, look, at the, look at the back photo. That's, this is a tough listen. I love Elton, but uh, yeah. Oof. I don't know, maybe it's the album with the, the Johnny B. Good cover. Which is the one? Is that Red Strikes Back? I'm not sure. The Rolling Stones, big, tit, uh, big hits, High Tide and Green Grass. Eight pages of color photos. Kind of a great early greatest hits album. James, be opened by the wonderful. 40 years or orchestrated. New album, double white vinyl. The Red Sun Titans includes a white vinyl, includes a poster, an A2 poster. The other early greatest hits comp. The UK version, right? Yeah. Big, t uh, big Tide and Green Grass. Oh, they censored it. Christine and the Queens. That hype sticker uh, was not on the photograph that's on the website. Highlights is the name of the album. Joy, Joy All, Jenny Lewis. On Blue Note. What the hell is this? The fifth solo album from celebrated songwriter Jenny Lewis. I guess since it's on Blue Note, I'm going to have to give it a listen. 
Hmm. My Morning Jacket, Return to the Thunderdome. This is a live concert from 2004. This is on Coke bottle clear vinyl with cloudy effect. This is a more super deluxe edition of Christine and the Queens. Different artwork, more vinyl. Yeah, also censored. Hmm. This is gonna be popular. This is Rob Grant. This is Lana Del Rey's father. Now I know there's not a huge demand for Lana Del Rey's father, but it's gonna be popular because there's two songs that Lana Del Rey guests on. This is smart business policy. Like if you're a superstar and your dad wants to record an album, he might not be very talented. I don't know personally because I haven't listened to this record, but you could just say, hey dad, I'll do a couple songs on your album and Pops is gonna sell a lot of records. And that's gonna be the case with uh, this because all the Lana Del Rey fans, probably myself included, are gonna have to buy a Rob Grant record. But yeah. Okay, the Analog Productions restock. I'm going to start with the SACDs. Can't buy a Thrill, Pet Sounds, Stereo, Dave Brubeck Time Out, The Royal Ballet on CD, The Doors, Morrison Hotel, Soft Parade, Strange Days, LA Woman, one of the greatest records of all time, Waiting for the Sun. I feel like I showed this already. Oh yeah, we got, uh, did I show this? Renee Rapp, autographed indie exclusive of everything to everyone. And then two Impex titles, uh, the White House Sessions, Dave uh, Brubeck and Tony Bennett, SACD, and then LeGrand Jazz, SACD. Okay. We've also got a couple of box sets. One of them, been a while since I've got, that is uh, Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. This is the 45 RPM version, right, of the complete concert? Yeah, this is the 45 RPM complete concert. Uh, this is an audio file, like go to for decades and decades, even before there was audio file records, people were like hip to the sonic quality of this, even on, you know, the original, when I was at the hi-fi show an exponer, that was one of the records that they were like, we're going to play this really old record and listen to how good it sounds. Like even this old record sounds good. That was one of those titles. Ooh, one more box, the Niles Lofgren Acoustic Live. Comes in at 33, but this is the 45 RPM version. Yeah, it was like that Harry Belafonte, and it was that uh, Satchmo Audio Fidelity title. Killer record. John Lee Hooker, It Serves You Right to Suffer. Musically fantastic. Sonically, this is fantastic. This is one I recommend for sure. Of, this is the best analog productions restock I've had in a long time. A lot of great titles here. Let's see, Reiner. Let's see, Stravinsky. Song of the Nightingale. We've got Tchaikovsky, Heifetz, Reiner, Chicago Symphony. We've got all of the RCA Living Stereos are fantastic. There's really, I can't tell you to avoid any of the analog production stuff. It, I mean, at this point you guys know, but if you don't know, it's all really killer. It's all top-notch audiophile stuff. We've got, what is this? A Stereo Spectacular. Belafonte Sings the Blues. Ooh, must have, must, must, must have. From the Prestige. All analog, cut by Kevin Gray series. They did 25 stereo prestige titles. They did 25 monos. Bags Groove, absolute must have Miles Davis record. Rebecca Pigeon, The Raven. We've got Stevie Ray Vaughan, Family Style. This is a 33.
Tenor Madness. I mean, these were like the Miles Davis, this Tenor Madness. These were like $200 records before they got repressed. Killer record. The self-titled, The Doors, 45 RPM. Fantastic series. I highly recommend The Doors, analog production stuff. Some more analog productions, prestige series titles. One of my favorites, Sonny Rollins, plays for Bird. This is a killer record. He does a version of uh, They Can't Take That Away From Me. And there's a part on there where he like leans into the microphone and it just pierces you. It's just a fantastic record. Ooh. The newest analog, I should have put this in the front of the video, but it got lumped in with the analog production stuff. This is the 45 RPM of John Lee Hooker, The Healer. This is an amazing sounding record. You know, this was done in the early 90s, late 80s, but all analog. It's essentially a lot of guest stars, you know, so it's Bonnie Raitt, Carlos Santana, Can't Heat, Los Lobos, but the sonics on this are fantastic and brand new. And I'm going to take a little credit for this, but we've got a sparse code on the back, 100% all analog, mastered and cut to lacquer from the original master tape. Fantastic. Uh, we just need to keep going on this. This is a crusade I'm happy to go on. Got MoFi doing it. Analog Productions is doing it now on all their reissues. Anybody that's making a high-end audiophile record in 2023 needs to be telling you on the jacket what the source is. If you're going to make a run of the real, real record, maybe that's a different story. But if you're targeting audiophiles, if you're making a high-end record, I think a sparse code is a must. Not on a website, not on a blurb, on the record. Sonny Rollins, Saxophone Colossus. His best record and probably the best record on Prestige. Fantastic record. Gene Ammons, the soulful mood of Gene Ammons on Moodsville originally. Arnett Cobb, Ballads by Cobb. Again, all of these prestige series titles, fantastic. Another really desirable prestige title, Mobley's Message. I think I got a second message in not too long ago, but this is a repress of the first message. Gene Ammons, Boss Tenor. Miles Davis, Relaxing With. Fantastic record. Again, all the saxof all the Sonny Rollins, all the Miles Davis must owns. They're great. One of my go-to demo discs. Roger Waters, Amused to Death. Fantastic, exceptionally well-recorded record. Uh, it was done with Q Sound, which was kind of like a simulated surround sound that they put on maybe about 20 records and CDs back in the day. It disappeared, but uh, really cool effect. Sounds killer. The explosions on there, they'll, uh, yeah, they'll make you look out your windows thinking there's a car accident. Bill Evans at the Montreux Jazz Festival. This is a 33 RPM. Shelby Lynn, just a little loving. Her tribute to... Uh, Dusty Springfield with that cover. Sarah McLaughlin, Mirabal, three disc set. Rob Wasserman's duets. Willie Nelson, and then I wrote. This actually is pretty good. I like the, I mean, it's got the songs on it that he wrote for other people that became hit. It's got Crazy on it. Funny How Time Slips Away. Elvis covered that. Crazy was what, Patsy Klein? Jeff Beck, Blow by Blow. Actually, I listened, uh, I had a uh, Hasfi Master version of this I listened to the other day. Yeah, this is a lot better. Jethro Tull, Stand Up, with the working stand up that you found in the original. Sarah McLaughlin, Afterglow. I got a restock on this, but uh, Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? That was, uh, yeah, sold out of them. Been, was out of them for a while, but I was able to get a restock. Miles Davis, Seven Steps to Heaven. This is a 33 RPM. 
This is the 33 RPM of Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall. The box set is a 45. From my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list, the Royal Ballet, absolutely fantastic record. Swan Lake, the Nutcracker, Sleeping Beauty, fun record. Here's another killer demo disc. Pictures at an exhibition. This is the 45 RPM uh, version. Ton of fun. Masterpieces by Duke Ellington. This is the 33 RPM version. Shakostovich. Really high end record if you find an original is six, seven hundred bucks. One of the later RCA series titles. Heifetz. 33. One of my favorite RCA living stereos. This is uh, The Power of the Orchestra. Has pictures at an exhibition at night at Bear Mountain. I've got this on uh, Reel to Reel as well. Killer title, really fun. One of my demos when I'm demoing Reel to Reel, it's like that's the one I always pick. The Analog Productions did that as an ultra tape. Killer sounding. Holly Cole, Temptation. We're almost done. Doesn't seem like it, but these records are a little thicker, so they go by quicker. Nat King Cole, just one of those things. Oh, another absolute must own. John Coltrane, Prestige, 7105. Linda Ronstadt, Simple Dreams. Lightning Hopkins, Going Away. Tony Bennett's uh, Carnegie Hall. Bartok, Concerto for Orchestra, 33 RPM on this. Most of the uh, RC Living Stereo titles they did were 33 RPM, but there was a couple like really high caliber titles, Sonic Marvels that they did at 45 RPM. Uh, Greg Allman, laid back. I think this is another one, yeah, 45 RPM. Rhapsodies, Stokowski. If it's a 45 RPM Analog Productions uh, title, it's on the upper echelon of what they have sonically. From my top 100 imprint angle, I think I'm almost positive this is on there. If it's not, I, I dropped the ball on that one. I'm almost positive it is. Tennessee Ernie Ford, Country Hits, Feeling Blue. What a record. You put this on, you think Tennessee Ernie Ford, you're like, what the hell are you talking about, Mike? That's crap. Why would I ever listen to that? Put this record on. It's so, so good. His voice, so powerful on that. Also, Sprock Zarahustra, RCA Living Stereo, 1806. Another must-own RCA title. Best of Sam Cooke. Uh, informal Jazz, the Elmo Hope Sextet. Prestige series. Got the box set of the Nils Lofgren. Now I got, this is the 33. So I got the 33 and the 45 in stock. Willie's Blues, Willie Dixon, from the Prestige Series stuff. Oh, which, oh, the 45 RPM. Nope. The 33 RPM of Dave Brubeck's Time Out, with a 45 RPM tag on it. I'll have to fix that. Freddie King, getting ready. Leonard Skinner, nothing fancy. 45 RPM. The Blues of Lightning Hopkins, 33 RPM from that, uh, from the Prestige series. Respighi's Pines of Rome. Also from my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list, Leonard Skinner, it's pronounced Leonard Skinner, with the whole entire side dedicated to Freebird. Eric Dolphy's out there. All the Elvis stuff they did is great. Elvis is back. Ricky Lee Jones. It's like this. This has uh, Steely Dan's Showbiz Kids on it. I use this track as a demo track a lot in the sound room. Uh, it's also on that QRP, Wonderful Sounds of QRP sampler. 
Bright Cooter, a meeting by the river. Julian Bream. We've also got Leonard Skinner's Give Me Back My Bullets. Cowboy Junkies, the Trinity Sessions. Another must own prestige title, John Coltrane with the Red Garland Trio. Hard original, prestige original, this is actually quite hard to find. Same thing with the uh, Coltrane 7105. Uh, Stardust by Willie Nelson. Nightbeat, Sam Cooke, Mr. Soul himself. Oh man, from the top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. Well, I don't think so. I'll take that back. Maybe. Should be. It's fantastic. The earlier tracks on this, the earlier stuff, not recorded the best. You know, Heartbreak Hotel, Love Me, Hound Dog. But when you get to like Return to Sender, In the Ghetto, Suspicious Mind, that the later stuff on this, you have never heard Elvis sound this good. I absolutely love this record. Look at all these great records. You could buy this row of records and start yourself a really good collection. John Coltrane's Lush Life. Herbie Hancock's Headhunters with the hit version of Watermelon Man. St. Sans, this is a reference recording title. Audio file label from late 80s, early 90s. One of the most expensive, most desirable RCA Living stereos titles, uh, Faust, Ballet Music, and uh, the Carmen Suite. Really desirable. Sonic Marvel, fantastic. I wish they did that as a 45. I don't know why they didn't. Jeff Beck's Wired. We've got Booker Irvin. This is uh, part of the, yeah, the Prestige Series stuff. Here is another 45 RPM, Shaharzard. Killer title, RCA Living Stereo. Did it as a 33, but the 45 sounds better. One of the greatest records of all time, according to me. That is The Doors, L.A. Woman. One of my go-to demo records, and by far and away the best this record has ever sounded in any version ever made. Digital, cassette tape, a track CD. This is unbelievable. On my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. And sonically fantastic. Ted Nugent, 45 RPM, with the single-sided stranglehold all to itself. Gil Evans and 10, prestige series title. And the last two. We got uh, Rhapsody on a theme of Pangini, Rachmaninoff. And the Sarah McLaughlin Sol Solace. Huge analog productions restock, but you can get all this stuff on our website at theingroove.com. Uh, yeah, I wonder how long this video was. It was a big one. Until next time.